This video is going to be me swapping the hard drives out because the one I have in there is shot. You're supposed to remove the battery. Battery's gone. And then mine is a nice, easy, big slot. Just keep cracking at it till it comes off. There we go. And actually, I'm a dumbass. That's how you clean the fan, change up the RAM, change out the Wi-Fi, and change out the processor. It's just this is the first thing I'm used to opening. This is the bay we're going to open. Then it's got this little thing and you slide it out. Mine's got little screws to take off. All right, all four screws are out. Now this should come out like that. If you read right there, it says 5,400 RPMs, 250 gigabytes. There's the old one, here's the new one. This one is 500 gigs, twice as much, 7200 RPM, uh, faster, 16 megabytes of cache. That one really doesn't say how much cache. 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 This is the one I'm going to be using. Now I'm putting the old screws in the new hard drive using the old case. Then slide it in here. Fits like a glove. Make sure I didn't put the old hard drive back in there. No, I did not. There's the old one, 250 gigabytes, 5400 RPMs, 8 megabytes of cache probably. And y'all make fun of me for saying cache, so whatever. Put the battery back in this thing, lock it, try to power it on. See it's not, there's no OS so it's trying to boot from the network. All right, I made some recovery disks when I first bought my computer, obviously a while back, and now it's rebooting to the disk. Yay! Reinstalling Windows. I'm not gonna go through this whole process, so you'll have to just watch it when I fast forward and edit this part out. Bye. Even bought this neat little enclosure. Take the old hard drive. Ooh, look at that. I'm getting somewhere. Put this in here. Slide it in. Haha! -ha, fits like. It. Glove. And then you put this on it. You three. And then it comes with screws to make it nice and secure. Plug the USB cable into it. Plug this into the laptop, and there you go. I have a 250 gigs of external storage. Even though there's tons of errors on it. Here's my recovery. And 466 gigabytes. I'll see y'all in a little bit. Woohoo, it's complete. Okay, and then done. Reboot. Well, let's see if it happens. Woohoo! This is awesome. I will be back in a little bit. And here we are the next day. I'm transferring all the videos from my old hard drive that used to be in the computer is now in this little external thing. It's pretty neat. I don't want to move it and messed up even more than it already is. And then my new hard drive's in here. And these are the two partitions that are on my hard drive. 187 gigabytes and 263 gigabytes. And then there's a 14 gigabyte hidden partition for restoring. And this is the USB hard drive. If I unplugged the USB hard drive, there would just be these two C and D. So I'm storing all my videos on this one. 
Yeah, this is what we just do. And I am out.